In this video, we're going to talk about something called molarity. Okay, um, It's a unit of concentration. You may have noticed a lot of the solutions we've used in the lab this year said stuff like 6M or 1M or 3M. Um, this tells us how concentrated the solution is. Okay, So molarity is the moles of solute divided by the liters of the solution. So solute is, say, if we have salt water, the salt would be the solute, and the salt water would be the whole solution. We dissolve salt into water. Salt, salt is the solute. Water is the solvent. And the whole thing is the solution. Okay? So the formula we usually write is M is moles per liter. Okay, so let's just try a couple of examples using this, because we'll use molarity an awful lot this year. So our first example says, what's the molarity of a solution that's made by dissolving 5 grams of NaCl, so that's our solute, in enough water to make 250 milliliters of solution, All right? So our formula is moles over liters. But we don't have moles, we have grams. But that shouldn't be a big deal, right? We'll take our grams, 5 grams of NaCl, and we'll change grams to moles. Okay, and one mole, and if you look, figure out the molar mass of NaCl, Na plus Cl is 58.44. So that gives you 0.0856 moles of NaCl, or solute. So when we go ahead and plug that in now, We've got 0 0.0856 moles, and we're going to divide it by the liters of solution. Now, they gave us milliliters, so we've got to have change that to liters, okay? But that's going to be 0 0.250 liters, right? There's 1,000 milliliters in a liter. And if you do that out, you get 0 0.342 molar is how you say it, 0 0.342 molar. Okay, so that's, that's not a very concentrated solution. 0.3 isn't very concentrated. Let's try another example. So similar idea, but kind of backwards. How many grams of HCl would be dissolved in 500 milliliters of 0.2 molar HCl? So HCl is our solute, okay, and we have 555 milliliters of solution. So since molarity is moles over liters, we can rearrange that so that moles is molarity times liters. Okay, and we're going to do this a lot this year. So our molarity is 0.2 molar. And again, we've got to multiply by liters, not milliliters. So 0.555 liters. And then if we do that out, we get 0.111 moles. And we're not quite done because that's for grams. So what we'll do is we'll change moles to grams, okay? And one mole of HCl, if you look at the molar mass of 1 plus 35.55, you're going to get 36.46, okay? And we just multiply that out, and we get 4.05 grams of HCl. That would be the amount of HCl dissolved to make that solution. So those are some simple molar... Uh, molarity calculations, and that's it.